Hello everybody, in this video I want to sh represent to you the second version of the Foliage Interactive System. So let me just play the level and show you how this looks. So right now we have our character and we have here a placeholders. Then you can see how the flowers here are interacting with the character and how they're shaking up. You have this realistic feel of getting them back in the original position. Uh, this is working for those placeholders that I've put in over here and it is also working for those quicksell assets here as you can see those are quicksell assets downloaded from the quicksell library and with a little setup that I'm going to show you in this video you can get this kind of effect also it works on some smaller grasses even grass on the land to your knee and also some forages that are pretty low on the ground. Let me show you a dense one how it will react. Everything here is interactable and you can see how realistic it feels. And here as you can see this sunflower doesn't have the interactive system and I'm going to show you how to set this up. If you enjoyed any of the videos on this channel and if you are a fan could you do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button. Surprisingly, 85% of the people who watched my videos are unsubscribed. Your quick action of hitting that subscribe button will support this channel and as it grows, we will be able to share even more free content with you. So the first thing in order to set up these foliages, I've created a foliage tools menu. And for this foliage tools menu, you can use all the things that are creating this foliage interactive system in real time to set up your preferred taste of the interaction. So the first thing is to enable the bug. And when you enable the bug, you can see how the debug capsules and how everything is shaking and reacting to the real world over here. This is the debugging. And from here, you can set up the push force. Let's say we have 1000 push force. I'm gonna close it. And right now you can see how strong we are pushing the, the flowers. And if I turn off the debug, here you can see the final result. So you can control the push force, how your character can push those foliages. The second thing is the mass of the plant. You can set up from 0 0.1 all the way up to one. And let me put the push force to 50. And now if I push them up, you can see they are slowly getting back. If I do a push force of 500 and push them all the way down, you can see how they're slowly getting back. This is because their, their mass is bigger and they need more time to recover to original position. So you can play with the mask, you can play with the push force, let's say a mass 0.3, I'm gonna put 50. Also you can play with the damping, let me show you. With the foliages here you can see how they damp and let me just turn off the debug a little bit different feeling of pushing the foliages you don't have this shaking in them you don't have this bounceness in the return phase where they go to the original position let me just tweak this up to this one so now you can see we have this little damping over here when they go to the original position you can see so from here you can control the damping and here you can control the stiffness if I put the stiffness too much you can see how they they're pretty stiff how, they, how fast they react and if I put a stiffness of one let me put stiffness of one you can see how slowly they return so this is controlling the stiffness everything here is real time you just need to Put down on a notepad the settings that you want for this particular foliage and this system work per foliage. So what you can achieve is you can set up those settings for this foliage. But let's say this foliage you want different settings. You can play with the settings again, remember them and put those settings only for this foliage. So each foliage in your game can be unique using those settings and you can create this variety of mass, stiffness, damping per foliage. So so like in the real world, every foliage has different parameters. If you enjoy the content and wish to support the channel, or if you're interested in accessing the files for this project and everything that I've created so far, including the landscape auto material, the water shader, the fog material, 
the Blueprint Mega Kit, the Interactive Water System, the Interactive Foliage System, the PCG Path, the PCG Ditch, the PCG Forest Pro, and every other tool and shader I've developed and will continue to create in the future, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash cgdealers. By selecting a tier, you can acquire the assets you want while supporting the channel and the ongoing development of new tools and enhancement of the current tools. For those who simply want to support the channel, I've introduced a YouTube membership option. By joining, you'll get access to our private Discord lobby where I'm most active, providing priority support. Please note, this membership doesn't include access to download tools, shaders, system, blueprints or any other content like in Patreon. Enroll in this membership if you don't want to pay for Patreon but want to donate a Coca-Cola or a coffee. This support helps me stay fueled and continue creating videos for free for you guys. Thank you so much, now let's deep dive into the video. When you download the project and unarchive it, you're gonna have this full project if you are getting it from my Patreon and you need to go under content if you want to integrate it into another project. Select everything, click Ctrl C to copy it, then go to your other project, go under content and paste everything over here. Once you paste it, you're gonna see everything here is added to your project and if I go under foliages, under maps, the test map, you can see that everything is working. This is pretty straightforward how to install the system. Let me show you how you can set this up. So right now those foliages are painted over here so I did go to foliages and I've added all the foliages and start painting them. This is how I paint the foliages and how you can set up them to be interactive. There are a few things. The first thing here let's say under the instances that we painted we have here the PPC interactive foliage and here in this interactive foliage for this one, we have parameters. The first one is flattering. And let me show you what flattering does. If I enable it and if I hit play, you can flatter your foliages. This is perfect for short grass. And if you want this effect of flattering, you can add this by enabling one Boolean in your foliage. The next thing is the stiffness, critical damping, mass and push force. As I've showed you before with the debugging tool, you can pretty much define them, just put them and you're gonna have a unique foliage settings only for this foliage type, okay? And the next one is the radius. Right now the radius is 15. So if we are 15 units from the foliage, we will start interacting. Let me put 150 to show you. Right now we are interacting with the foliages from far away. So if you want to have this kind of effect to interact with the foliage from far, you can see you can tweak up the radius and you can get this kind of nice effect if you need that in your game. And as I told you, I'm just changing the parameters for this debugging foliage. But the other one is working like normal because it has different parameters over here. So if I go, if I select my instance foliages, go all the way down, this one has different parameters, so it will react differently. The next one, this one, also can be changed the parameters. It also can react differently. So you have pretty much a lot of freedom to create a very unique foliage system in your game that will adapt based on your character. All right, so how can you achieve that? Right now, the sunflowers over here are not reacting to anything. All right, and we want to make those sunflowers interactive. The first thing that you need to do is download some assets from Quixel. I've downloaded those sunflowers. And what you need to do is you need to go under the foliage folder and you need to set up the FT foliages. So let me show you how easy it is. I'm gonna click on this sunflower and right now it uses the default foliage instant static mesh component from Quixel. What you need to do is you need to select my BPC interactive foliage, save it. Do this for each of the foliages that you want to be interactive. After you finish with the last one, this is only step one. The next step is to open your character. And here in my character, I have a BPC foliage interaction component. You need to add this component to your character. The other thing that I have here is the testing widget that I showed you before. And here you have a foliage meshes. Over here, you need to add all the meshes that need to be interactive. Right now, I've added this one and the money plant. And what we need to do over here, 
is we need to add our sunflowers. So go to your mega scans, open the 3D plants, sunflowers, and you need to add those meshes over here. So I'm gonna add one more slot and plug the mesh. I'm gonna do this for every foliage that I want to be interactable. After you added all the foliages that you want to be interactable, just compile and save and it will work. So just two steps, add the foliages to your character, add a BPC interactive foliage component to your character and in your foliages over here that you want to be interactable, select the BPC interactive foliage. We've created this system to be super easy so you can use it in all your games. So now when everything is set up, you need to go to your foliages and here I'm painting the FT foliages as you can see. And what you need to do is you need to add your FT foliage over here into the paint mode. After you paint your foliages, just hit, hit play and let's set this out. And right now we have interactive sunflowers. If I set up the speed to slow, you can see how we are interacting with the sunflowers. If you want them not to go all the way down, you can tweak them through the mass settings, through the push force and everything will start working and with just a few tweaks I can set up those foliages not to bend like that and just to be slightly interactive when my character is moving through them it is a personal taste you just need to play with all the settings over here in order for you to see what kind of result you want of course if I put push force 200 I can just push them straight away so this is about the Forge Interaction System. It is available right now on my Patreon. You can find the link to my Patreon in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching this one. See you in the next one. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now.